Hey, Internet friend, this is Magic Rare with Synergy Cafe. Do you got your coffee today? I'm working out of a coffee shop today instead of my home office. I'm here remote, and I've got my friend that I met a couple of years back, and his name is Ari Moore. Are you there, Ari? I'm here. Friend. Yay. Good to see you again. Where, where are you located now? Uh, I'm in the northwest uh, part of uh, Mississippi in a small town called Tupelo. For those that are... Oh, sure. Yeah, for those who are interested in Elvis or or Elvis fans, this was what where Elvis actually was born. Yeah, I lived uh, in uh, Asheville, North Carolina, for a while, and there's a really good restaurant there called Tupelo Honey. Oh uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> we have a lot of Tupelo. Yes. We seem to be famous for that for whatever reason. I never got to taste of Somebody made it famous. There we go. So, Ari, I don't do these very long. This is just to give people a taste and an example of who you are and what you do. So the first question is, who is Ari? Is he married, single, wild and crazy? What, uh, what's, you got kids? What's, what's Ari all about? Uh, well, uh, I'm uh, most definitely married. My, my wife is a, is a Chicago girl, so it's a, that's what I'm kind of talking about. I'm originally born and raised in Norway, so that's where my accent comes from. Okay. Is, and, and I'm... Keep my wife, she calls me import. <laughs> so it's, uh, I'm a Norwegian import. And, uh, and I, we have, between me and her, I think we have five kids. If I have count them oh, wow. correctly, we have two, two grandkids. And we rescue horses. So I have five horses, four dogs, four cats. Wow. Uh, so I have a, a little animal farm here. You you got some something to keep you busy. <laughs> yes, sir. and you're I'm probably busy. busy. Yeah, and I live in the northern northwest part. Of the okay. I, my family is from Norway, so to me it doesn't matter where I live. Today with the internet, it doesn't matter. Well, we got a lot of Norwegians up here in Minnesota, also. I'm uh, my dad That's was they, was Norwegian. I don't I don't I don't get that. I don't like the cold cold. <laughs> I get it. So. Um, when we met before, you were in the hotel industry and in hospitality, and I'm assuming that's still the same because I see your shirt right there. It says hotel something on it there. Yeah, it Hot says hotel -y for life. Okay, so you're stuck into it. You're still yeah, in the hotel I, business. Yeah, so I still work with them. The hotel business we've done now is just, uh, it's a, I help particularly, you know, I work with social media as a consultant, particularly with hotels also as a hotel consultant. Time helping hope that people try the hope of the marketing part with social media marketing. Uh, and uh, if you look at the, what, what's the different aspect of, of social media versus what's the different aspect of, of the marketing and how we can kind of tie those two uh, different segments together to, to add more value, preferably to, to the hope of, but also in the back end to, to, to the customers. Do you, do you work with just like the big hotels, like the Marriotts and the Hiltons and the, all that, no, or do you work with small no, ones also? It, 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 I work with the old shop of hotels. Uh, it, we get, I got into a little bit, I mean, some bed and breakfast, group down to bed and breakfast. Okay. Uh, but the, of course, on this, from my perspective, as an independent contractor, it's easy to work with uh, in the independent hotels, uh, boutique hotels. Uh, mom and pop hotels, but also medium, from, everything from, from small to medium sized hotels. Uh, the bigger hotels, like when you come up from area to Hyatt, Hilton, and, and those name choice brands, they usually have their own team right. on, on board. But I work with the brands that could be related to, to Hilton and Holiday Inn mm -hmm. and things like that. that so, so, most of the time, I've been from. from management teams that you own by management or something like that. So like I mentioned, I'm working on this event center project in Costa Rica and it's it's not going to be a big hotel kind of thing. It's just going to be a small event center with small cabins and things around it, almost like a resort. Is is that the kind of people you work with too? Because there's, there's a lot of those there. I might be able to refer some business to you with uh, those types of people. Yeah, those, those are the most definitely. The whole Inns, uh, all type of lodging type of services, uh, the lodging that kind of uh, corporate, the long and large is respectable. Why the Right. To, to, to motels and, and so on. Yeah, because I see the, 
the, the big hotels, they kind of have their own social media stuff going, but it's not very social that I've noticed right. when you get on there. You, you don't really communicate. Where, And then the small mom and pops, they don't quite understand the social media concept or don't have time for it because they're busy taking care of guests and stuff. So maybe you come in and help them streamline that and let them understand it a little bit. That is, Am I understanding that correct? That is correct. Because okay. it's, it's actually very, that's a good picture you painted off there. Because that's what we see often when you see the bigger brands like you. Well, there's some exceptional culture, all our, but often you see it's, a, as a, it's, not, it's not the social, they use it more like a one way communication channel. It's just more like business, like usual, as before. Well, when we dealt with traditional hotel markets, it's very often one way and, and customers now they want more two ways right well, now we, because because it, it's for the hospitality industry and the hotel industry in general the biggest market segment today is millennials and, the house house. and, and they are now that they see that they require more two ways communication and they want more engagement yeah them. And it, it can't be this robotic, automated stuff either. I mean, I'm, I do some stuff on Twitter. In fact, I think we connected on Twitter, and I try and actually type and engage with the real person, but some people are using these Autobot things that there's a lot of that happening on Facebook and stuff now, and I think that's a doing a disservice to this customer that might probably want to stay at your place. They want a real answer. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, two, it's a little conflict today because if you see it, Facebook Messenger and, and the, way, the, the way that they build up Facebook Messenger and the bots on Facebook, that's actually really encouraging for the whole perspective because it, that allows them to, to take it down to some of that one-to-one -one interaction with, with the customers when they know, and that's part of what we also do when I do myself and I work with a social media management company in the UK where we really focus on, on that uh, and one-to-one interaction with the customers that that, that customers really want is all about in the end about the personalized experience you know, to kind of find new ways to add value to the experience the competitors now in the hospitality particularly like airbnb home away on similar services like that they are so focused on the experience right. that's what the hotel industry really need to learn to, to how can we use the tools that's out there to, to enhance the experience and add more value to, to, to the customers so, so the experience is going to be part of what they, they're doing today. So where do, you, where do you do your work? Do you do your work just like at your home office and online or do you actually go to an establishment and have you know a, a live in-person conversation with the hotel owner or the resort owner? Do you do it in person or do you just do remote or both? Both. both of course, it, it, what you can do is from like like you do the K on on a, on a video now, webinar or, uh, or to, to a, like online conversation like we have here. It's, it's it makes it more more it helps us make it more cost effective. Yeah. For the hotel, so we don't have to kind of airfare uh, and all that and stuff. Expenses and, and today with the tools we have available, today it makes it even easier for us to, to kind of. Do it just from home and, and then connect to the hotel and kind of show them. Of course, there's some things that you just travel out and help them set up the, 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 the initial setups and, and you know, put the basics, like when it comes to, to, to the day to day or routine of having the different social media channels. For people. Got that, it. We, we don't have, I don't have to be at home. Right, so like some, maybe a bed and breakfast or a small resort, they don't know how to set up a Facebook fan page or a Twitter account or anything like that. You'll set all that stuff up for them, and then it's just a matter of maintenance. Correct, and then it's sometimes like, particularly when it comes to, to the customers, a, whole, a lot of hotels they use more, in the, particularly in the small bed and breakfast, the, the inns and the large, small lodging services. They use a lot of those, those plus because of the, the, the review aspect they have. Plus. And, and what you see in Google, what they require to have to respond, to set up the business there, they require that to respond or verify the business to, uh, to uh, mail. Right. To, you have to put in a code there. And Good. It, for whatever reason, the holders have a really hard time 
responses to that. So, so that gives them some counts from my perspective of visibility. And we have a little bit also on where Twitter is a little bit the same that the main you know, not as responsive to, to verify the account. So so sometimes I have to go out there to, to actually basically show them that right. or help them respond. So it's, it's usually very minor things and but the, the, some some of them are very kind of you know, to kind of give it power over me to have full control of the account. Got it. But to, and uh, particularly now it's like since we have our own uh, or deals with a lot of out breaches and the Cambridge uh, Analytica. And yep, that's been uh, good. That's been good. It's making it better for us to get all that robotic crap out of there. I, I totally agree. I totally agree. Like, and what we see now from the GDPR, when that's going to be implemented shortly, in just in the end of this month, we're going to do that, and that's going to really, really help us get out the full noise that we see there. And so that's but I guess with hope the home and management, that's like they don't really understand engagement that well on all social media. Yep. Because they, they just see that noise out there. That's all they Well see. that's what I think a lot of people don't understand is this social media can be very powerful if you actually be social. But some people they take too too much advantage of this automation thing and it takes the human factor out of it and it actually does a disservice to both the customer and the the merchant. So I think it's important that people actually communicate like this and, and they, they need to know how important I think it is because if you just, like, I just got a thing this morning from somehow it was automated and I replied to it and I got a little thumbs up but it came right away and I knew that that was probably a robot that did that right away like that. So it's like, ah, you're not even a human, you're not even there, you know. And that's, I think, what happens to the customer. They go, you're not even interacting with me when I ask a question. It's not a human. I'm not going to get my real answer. No, and, and it's just like, that's also like, if they're going to, because some process, I totally understand that, I mean, from the yeah. large, the large hotel, like Mary's, where we, we have a lot of customers coming in, that it's, it's very hard to, to respond right there and then. And so, so you have to find a process like the, the initial response in some cases you might have to uh, automate because it's, it has so well, see, many customers. See, that's why I think it's important to, this is a props for you, that someone talks to someone like you that understands it, because an individual not knowing what's really happening, they might think, that's a great idea, we'll just automate all this stuff. And that they don't realize that, no, nah, you probably automate part of it, and then the rest of it you need to take over and be personally interactive. And if they don't understand that, they're going to lose customers because of that automated BS. Anyway, <laughs> that's my little rant. So, before I ask my very favorite question, Ari, um, could you share with us how to get a hold of you in case someone is interested in uh, your work and your consulting? They most definitely, uh, if people are looking to, uh, particularly hotels and, and you know, people in the hospitality industry that want to get a hold of me, they can get a hold of me uh, primarily to my blog, which is uh, a r e m o r c h dot com. Uh, that's where they find a lot of information. I'm on Facebook and on more. I'm on Twitter or more. So, so I use my my name is okay. Where, where, where they find me on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, same Pinterest, Instagram, whatever. Okay, I will put those. I'll put those links in the video. Also, I'll, I'll embed them on the video when I propagate it and stuff. Out. Yeah, the, those are the most. It's, it's kind of your life. I get it, and it's a. Uh, it's encouraging because you know, the hospitality thing is all about people connecting with people. So there's hope for humanity that people are going to get back together and maybe we'll see you down in Costa Rica sometime. You can help us yeah, develop well, something. Uh, that's Rica. a really good point because hospitality is, uh, to me, in my perspective, the way I build up and that way I build up is actually the basis and the foundation of what you see in today. Yeah. Yeah, being hospitable. <laughs> you have to serve your customers. Exactly. Well, I'm going to sign this off and beam it up to the universe as I do, but I appreciate you taking the time. If you want to stay on, we'll have a little chat after. But other than that, I'm going to put this in the can and put it out to the world. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Ari. Peace.